A working smoke alarm will save your life. It only takes two and a half minutes for fire to kill. It takes from five to ten minutes for firefighters to respond to a call. Be aware and careful of hair dryers and straighteners. They are still hot after you use them. Turn off any electrical equipment that is unattended. If there's a fire, don't panic. Evacuate the building safely. Know your meeting points and wait for the fire service to arrive. Never go back into the house until you're told it's safe by the fire service. If you find yourself trapped inside a room during a fire, get to the door and touch it with the back of your hand, only for a moment, as it may be hot. If it is, do not open it. Call 999 immediately, then try and seal the room. This will give you more time. You can do this by putting towels blankets or anything you can find at the bottom of the door just like I'm doing here. If you're able to soak them first that will also help. If your escape route is blocked do what Ben does next. Help! I'm track upstairs, there's a fire downstairs. Can someone call for the fire brigade immediately please? Because I'm stuck. Hello, fire service. Okay, what's the address, please? 66 Hamilton Street. Is that upon Canada in Cardiff? Okay, yeah, is the postcode CF119BQ? Okay, can you get out of the property? You can't, can you? Okay, why can't you get out of the property? You're stuck in the upstairs bedroom, are you? Okay, where is the fire? And it's on the landing, is it? 
Okay, if you just want to close the door to the to the bedroom for me. Yeah, and then go and open a window. Yeah, and try and stay close to the floor. Have you done that? Okay, what's your name? Hi David, my name's Chris and I'm going to stay on the line to you now until the crews arrive, okay? Okay, where, where in relation to the stairs is the bedroom? It's at the front of the house, is it? Would it be easier for us to come to the front or the back of the house? Okay, if you just make sure you stay close to the floor. Yeah, and keep the windows open and we'll be there as soon as we can, okay? the best advice for a fire service and uh, for emergency calls? The best advice I could give for someone who's making a fire call would possibly be spend a few seconds, but obviously not too long, trying to find out uh, the address. If you're not sure of where you are, is uh, to find out the address and, and where you are before passing the call because it can save valuable seconds in, uh, in us dealing with the incident. Okay. Uh, and when it, when it comes to... Um Hoax calls, they, they can be more of a nuisance than anything else. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when people pass hoax calls, it doesn't just mean uh, that uh, we're not a bit available to deal with that incident. It means that someone who's really needing a fire engine um, would not be available to attend because we're actually attending an incident that's not a real, a real incident. Um, what would you do if, if, if someone was putting a fire from outside the house? Um, the best advice I could give was possibly certainly not to go back into the house um, or to go in in the first instance because it's more important that the person who was passing the call for to stay outside to give us as much information as we need to actually deal with the fire. Okay, and when that happens, always stand well clear and let the experts deal with it. What advice would you give if someone's trapped inside a house and, and there's smoke coming from, from the building? Uh, if someone's trapped in a house, the best advice we can give is if they cannot get out, uh, and that's the first option, is to try and get out of the house, but if they, they're definitely stuck, uh, the best advice I would give is to stay low to the floor because smoke rises, uh, open a window to let uh, fresh air inside the house, and if you can, if you've got any towels or bed linen, to block the doors to stop the smoke coming into the room. And always uh, open a window as well and call for help as well. The important thing to remember when you're reporting a fire is to keep calm, uh, to pass as much information as possible, because uh, we'll be there as quick as we can, and usually, and more often than not, we'll be there quick enough to s stop anybody from getting uh, severely harmed. The stock market went through the roof today. No one seems to have predicted this, so it's hard to know where it's heading. Yes, no one dropped those said it hit or put it as no one. That is proven that it went with all parts. Then with all parts. Yes, no one dropped one. That is proven that it was said it hit or put it as no one. Sixty-seven percent. That's an awful lot of fires. The kitchen is the single most dangerous place in your home. So never leave any cooking after you've started. If you are called away from the cooker by the phone or someone at the door, always take the pan off the heat.
don't overload any adapter or sockets. We use electricity every day, so don't take it for granted. And remember to turn off any electrical equipment you are not using. Switch off and unplug. This is especially important at night when fires can spread quickly while you sleep. We all need to take more care. Switch off and unplug. So Paul, how many how many fires do you deal with in Cardiff every year? Well we're today's situation as you said in Adam Street which is the busiest station in Cardiff and dealing with thousands of fires every year in Cardiff. What about nationally in Wales? Nationally then because you're looking at there's three brigades in Wales you can multiply that by a factor of ten we've got tens of thousands of calls we deal with nationally in Wales. What are the main causes of fire? The main causes of fire are probably I would say careless disposal of smoking material people leaving cooking and attended and we we used to have a big problem with uh, chip pans once again people leaving chip pans and unattended how, however they're on the decrease why are chip pan fires on the decrease well hopefully the three brigades in wales are working on a policy that when they carry out their home safety checks if people we consider at risk are using chip pans then we replace them with uh, deep fat fryers and that reduces the risk considerably what should I do if a fire breaks out? The most important thing if a fire breaks out is not to panic. The most important thing after not panicking is to make sure everybody that wears is a fire and everybody can evacuate the building safely. What should I do if I'm cut off by fire? Again, it comes back to ensuring that you don't panic. The most important th thing is getting everybody if they're with you into one room, making sure if there's access to a phone, you phone the fire brigade as soon as possible to give them warning, stating your name, where the address and where you are, and if you can, what's on fire. If you feel the fire is developing then, it's important to make sure you go to any openable window and shout for help. If the fire is increasing and you can feel smoke coming into the room, then anything you can to prevent the ingress of smoke into the room using blankets or sheets or clothing to stop the fire entering or the smoke entering into the room. What should I do if my clothes catch fire? This is very important. Again, the most important thing when we're thinking of your personal safety in fire is not to panic. What we say, what we advise people to do is to stop what you're doing or stop, drop to the floor and roll and that way then you're helping to smother the fire and stop it causing you any more serious harm. Finally, what are your top safety tips to prevent fires? So top safety tips to prevent fire is always remain, remain vigilant. Make sure you're aware of what you're doing all the time. Think fire safe. Don't leave candles unattended. Make sure you switch off any electrical apparatus that doesn't need to be on. But most importantly is be fire conscious and be fire safe don't take any risks with fire. Uh, also, we've got to be careful with people with smoking. Make sure you dispose of your cigarettes safely. And if you're tired or you're under the influence, you've had a drink, make sure you don't smoke. We have numerous occasions when people have had a cigarette and fallen asleep when they're tired or when they've had a drink. And that can cause, obviously, very serious problems. Another, uh, another important safety tip, which is, uh, which is very, very important, and it would be a remiss of me to, uh, 
to not to mention is you never ever return to the scene of a fire whether it's your property until you're told to safe to by the fire service Station Commander Briscombe, thank you for your help. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't have a working smoke alarm or need further advice, contact the fire service on this number 0800 169 1234.